So ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome is when the ovaries begin to, uh, under, and it's really triggered by the HCG exposure. The HCG, which we use to trigger the final maturation, and if the patient is pregnant, the HCG is produced by the pregnancy um, a few days or a week later. Uh, it uh, affects the ovaries in such a way uh, through generation of some um, uh, vascular endothelial growth factors uh, to start leaking fluid. And what happens, the ovaries become very large and they exude fluid uh, into the peritoneal cavity, into the abdomen. What a woman feels is that she's very bloated, the ovaries are very large, there is a fluid accumulation in the pelvis and the abdomen, sometimes even in the chest. That is painful, that is uncomfortable, well, women usually complain of shortness of breath, uh, epigastric pain, pain in, in, in the stomach area, and it's all because of accumulation of large amount of fluid. The other dangerous thing about that's the discomfort, of course. The other thing is that there, there are fluid shifts, and the patient actually may have a lot of fluid in her abdomen, but not enough in her vascular system. So there are, uh, women are at risk for blood clots uh, and electrolyte imbalances. So it is a very serious uh, situation. Women who are at most risk for this syndrome are uh, women with PCOS uh, condition, and particularly women with PCOS condition who are slender. Uh, it's an interesting inverse relationship that heavier PCOS women are at lower risk. They are at some risk, but at lower risk than the slender uh, women with irregular menses and PCOS uh, symptomatology. Uh, younger women, of course, are at higher risk for the syndrome because if the, uh, an older woman doesn't produce as many eggs or as high of an estrogen level, she would be at lower risk for OHSS in that setting.